ladies and gentlemen, heading into Pancake Simulator for Update 3. Now, Update 3 is here ahead of schedule, but it's perfect timing. Huge shout out to the developers, the builders, the scripters, the coders, the owner himself, Gaza Plays. You guys are taking the most amazing leap of faith and delivering on every level that is possible in order to have a successful game here in the Roblox community. This is amazing. You guys are paying attention to the general public. Every time we complain about a certain feature, you guys are fixing it, knocking it out the park, making sure that that problem doesn't return. Gaza plays himself. He put out a announcement and said, listen, the game is going to be shut down so that way we can fix everything that we need to fix. So the update that he was supposed to be releasing on Sunday, he was pushing it back one day and, you know, they were working on it. And I assume that since he released the game update that they fixed everything that they needed to fix. But I think the reason why he came out with this early is because of us here, the community we were just like, you know what, Gaza, stop the BS, bro. We are ready. The game is ready. Put it out there. We're ready. Let's go. Let's go. Everybody's just talking. Everybody's hyped up about the moment. And then, boom, a couple hours later, we get another message, another announcement from Gaza saying that Update 3 is now available for you guys to play. Go ahead. Enjoy yourself. So I was just like, wow, you know? So I went in there, you know, and I wanted to see what was up with the new updates and everything like that. So to pretty much explain what's going on here is they added a new egg inside the magma zone area. You guys know exactly where the castle is. On the other side, there were tubes and there were nothing in them. So now there is one egg inside on the other end of the wall. So this new egg, it's called the core egg and it's going to cost you 350k and magma rocks so if you don't have enough currency i suggest you start farming the rocks ladies and gentlemen now utilize the plus one area if you have actually purchased that portal because that plus one area is giving you double the amount of value inside of that portal so the main area is going to give you whatever, you know, whatever numbers you have and whatever pets you have and whatever strength your spatula is. That is going to be your numbers for the main land inside of the magma zone area. But if you head into the plus one portal, you're going to be receiving double of what you were getting inside of the magma zone main area. So... Write down your numbers as you see them, record them, take screenshots. So that way you know, okay, this is what skills is talking about. This place is actually double what I was getting out here. This is what he talks about. And this is what he is suggesting us to start using more often. If you have that portal, use it, ladies and gentlemen, because you never know. It might end up disappearing if, you know, people aren't using it so yeah one limited time egg which can be also found inside of the magma zone area but it's not inside the castle it's right by the spawn area so the leaderboard for the magma zone area the egg will be right there the limited time egg and this limited time egg is actually a robux egg ladies and gentlemen it's going to cost you 699 Robux. Now, so far during the making of this video, I have only seen Gaza plays with the actual pet himself from the Robux egg. But I'm guaranteeing that if Russo returns back to the game, he might actually spend a ton of Robux in this game as he does in every other simulator. So I'm crossing my fingers in hopes that he will return to play the game once again. Hopefully, it's not a one-and-done situation with Russo. Um, 
maybe CDTV will buy a pet from the Robux egg himself. But just to be honest, the egg itself is a little pricey. Excuse me. And I do know that I speak for myself and I think I'm speaking for other um, Roblox YouTubers inside of Pancake Simulator. Um, these guys are conservative spinners. Now, what I mean by that is they're not just going to be flexing, you know, their Robux. They're not going to just spend something because they have it. They're going to make smart decisions. Do they really want to spend this much on this product? You know, I'm not saying that Russo doesn't make any smart decisions when he's spending, but I'm saying there is a huge difference. Like we can legit say if he returns, it's at a 95% chance that he will buy that Robux egg. But when you think about other YouTubers, such as like Crew Rocks and CDTV Dad, myself included, um, Tangy YouTuber, Snug Life, Jojo Craft, um, and the rest of the other YouTubers, Shimmer, um, you know what I'm saying? Like all of us are actually conservative spenders. We're, we're constantly overthinking, you know, if this is worth us, you know, breaking the pockets is what I would say you know, on a certain product and everything like that. So yeah, right now, Gaza plays flexing that pet as always. <laughs> Every time he gets something, you know, it's like a bit of a flex, mo you know, movement. But he plays the game legitly. He plays just like us. He doesn't skip ahead. He's not giving himself pets. He's literally playing as a regular player, although he is the owner and creator and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool of him to, you know, walk in our shoes and not just walk in like a developer creator shoe, if that makes sense to you. 12 new pets have been added, which is great. I want to keep seeing more and more unique designs because this game right here, as I mentioned, these pets that you see in here, you won't see in any other game, which is a extremely good thing. Because when you think about Roblox, all the games that have pets and everything like that, all these pets end up becoming box shaped, cube shaped, and it's just like it doesn't really simulate what a actual pet will look like. You know what I'm saying? Because in real life we don't have box pets. I mean if you do have a box as a pet, let me know. And <laughs> I will classify you as a weirdo for having a box as a pet. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Anyway, um, new Magma Portal. This portal is literally right next to the plus one portal. You can't miss it. And if you do miss it, um, I don't know what to say. You need glasses or something. Anyway, that portal is there. Inside of the portal is a mega obby parkour, whatever you want to call it. Now, inside of there, you complete the obby. And once you head all the way up to the top, completing the obby, you will find a spin the wheel option. Spinning the wheel is free, and then extra spins that are going to cost you Robux. Now, when you spin the wheel, you are winning a free pet. Now, these pets could come from the eggs, and it could be a new pet entirely. I don't know. I haven't made it up there yet. You guys know that I suck at parkour. So most likely you won't find me inside of that portal. However, if you guys are, you know, the parkour masters, the ninja legends, you know, the ninja warriors. <laughs> um, basically, if you are good at parkour and, you know, obbies and stuff like that, this is definitely something you should definitely save up for and purchase because it's going to be worth it in the end. Now, the level of difficulty is... It's surprising because the obby itself, it's something that just goes straight up in the air, but it's not simple and boring. It's actually a, a bit complex because of the features it has inside of there. So, yeah, that's all I got to say about that. Um, two times the luck game pass has also been added. So now you guys have a lucky chance of hatching the legendaries, which is pretty cool. Um, but the game passes are very expensive, so just think about it. Um, but definitely, 
I am suggesting this game pass if you have the Robux because you need the luck in order to get these legendaries. Plus 500 pet storage. So this is a game pass, but I don't know if it has been added as of yet. During the making of this video, it's not active. All I see is the plus 30 and the plus 100 um, pet storage. Now, me, myself, I have purchased the plus um, 30 pet storage, and it costed me 79 Robux, which was very affordable. That's why I made the purchase. <laughs> and it's definitely worth it because I'm a YouTuber and I like to give away pets. So, yeah. You guys will see a giveaway coming for this game inside of my Discord server. All you have to do to join, you know, giveaways and stuff like that is react to them when the post actually comes out. Now, in order for you to participate as well, I'm making this a golden rule. You have to be an active member. So if you are not active, please do not join my Discord giveaways. Leaving it at that. Birthday Bash Zone area will be available for one more week. So thank you, Gaza Place, for leaving that there for us. So that way we can have a better chance at getting the last two legendaries because I'm speaking on pretty much everybody. I haven't seen anybody, you know, like lately with them. I've seen all the people that have gotten in and have gotten lucky in the beginning. But as of lately, everybody's luck has been pretty dry. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've been farming that egg for a very, very long time, a couple of days at it, and I still haven't gotten the two legendaries. Um, birthday Bash pets have been debuffed. What that means is, you know, whatever their stats were, they are now, you know, I guess lowered or back to normal. So, yeah, they will become useless pets after a while, you know. And lastly, bugs have been fixed. As I told you already, they pay close attention to every detail, every aspect, and they're listening to the general public who happens to be us. Whenever we tweet about something, we make a video complaining about something, or we're writing about something in a Discord server, they are watching, they are paying attention, they are paying attention, and they are listening to us. So yeah. There you have it, a fully detailed breakdown of the description. Now let's see if we can head into the game and hope for the best in this video. Drop a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and turn on your post notifications, and don't forget to hit that share button as well on this video, and drop a comment, guys. Alright, so you guys already know the situation. Um, it takes a very long time for me to load into game, the background and everything like that. Um, I have been experiencing like huge heavy lag moments, even when I'm not recording, just playing the game on a low-end device. And as I told you guys, my laptop is classified here on Roblox as a mobile device. It's not classified as a desktop. So yeah, games such as this one and a few other ones, I have to play on low quality settings. And that is also the reason why my screen, the backlight is dim. So that way that can try to smooth the process of loading into games and making it a whole lot faster. But as you guys can see, still with the white screen. Okay, so now we're starting to go somewhere. Man, that ice cream was hitting the spot, guys. <laughs> it was so cold. <laughs> if you guys are huge ice cream lovers, let me know in the comment section as well. Let's start a conversation about something, <laughs> you know? What type of flavor ice cream do you guys like? Write that down in the comment section. I know this is Pancake Simulator, and we should be talking about Pancake Simulator. And what the frick... Why am I signed out of Roblox, bro? Oh my gosh. Well, that's going to be the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. I'll try to make a part two after I sign in. Of course, I'm not going to sign in with my information exposed to you guys. Um, <laughs> as I said, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and just keep a 
look out for part two of this video right here. Peace.